Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm happy to be presenting here today on uh, how we have uh, actually gone about uh, implementing RSD at uh, the University of the South Pacific. And just briefly, um, University of the South Pacific covers 12 member countries, so we've got campuses across 12 member countries. And our colleagues over here today, um, we are from the main campus, which is the Lodava campus, uh, located uh, in Fiji. So a bit of background on how we actually, um, why and how we actually started to implement RSD. Uh, during the year 2010 and 2011, the University of the South Pacific uh, embarked on strategic total academic review where it started reviewing uh, its, uh, pol uh, its academic portfolio. And uh, one goal of uh, that uh, STAR project was to build uh, research literacy and skills across the curriculum. So one of the working groups, working group five, was uh, given the task to look across at how different universities have, are developing research literacy and skills within the curriculum. And that working group proposed to the senior man management team back in 2011 that uh, we implement the RSD framework across all undergraduate and postgraduate programs to help build research literacy and skills in our students. So the implementation of RSD actually started with two first-year undergraduate courses. These are generic courses which all undergraduate students at the university are required to take. Um, the, they're, I mean, they're labeled as UU100 and UU114, which uh, UU100 is on um, information literacy and skills, while UU114 is on the English language for academic purposes. So starting with these two courses in 2012, we then expanded onto RSD implementation in the other courses. Uh, in, during the year 2013, we moved on to implementing RSD in two other UU courses, which are the second year UU courses, and as well as uh, discipline-based first year undergraduate courses. And then in 2014, we moved on to second year discipline-based courses. And 2014, sorry, 2014 was second year discipline-based courses. And this year, we are targeting a few third year courses for implementing RSD. Uh, simultaneous to the implementation at undergraduate level, we are uh, implementing RSD in the postgraduate courses as well. Uh, this started in 2013, and that's the same time as the discipline-based first-year courses started implementing RST. So we, st we are in fact uh, implementing RST in the core postgraduate level courses. These courses are taken by students who do their research thesis in masters. So in 2013, we started off with two core postgraduate courses in two different faculties. And then in 2014, we, extend, we expanded that to cover other core postgraduate courses. This year, we've got uh, postgraduate courses across three major faculties, as well as the Pacific Center for Environment and Sustainable Development, as well as education courses, which have started implementing RSD. So our intention is that by the end of 2015, most, all our students would have encountered RSD in the four UU or generic courses, as well as a number of the discipline-based courses or the program level courses. And it is hoped that these students will then be better prepared for postgraduate research in 2016 when they move on to doing their master's level uh, postgraduate courses. Now, I just wanted to mention very briefly on the approach that we're using to implementing RSD in the curriculum. We are using an assessment-based approach where we are embedding RSD in the assignments and using RSD-framed marking rubrics to assess uh, research literacy and skills. Um, most of the marking rubrics that we have implemented at postgraduate level are available on the USP RSD webpage, which John just showed at the beginning of the presentation. So 
Um, you can always refer to that web page for further information on our rubrics. Now the current status is that, uh, as I showed previously, we have, we are, we are just embarking to implement RSD in the third year courses, and uh, expanding on to implementation in the postgraduate courses. Now with the undergraduate courses, we started off implementation at course level, so RSD was implemented in different courses and not with not so much for program level focus but now we are moving on to program level um, implementation we started on program level conversations uh, in december last year when john came over to usp to run the rsc trainings and this year we are increasing our focus on program level implementation so what we are hoping is that uh, these program level conversations will help us link the courses from the first year to third year. So we'll be able to link the assessment activities and um, streamline our implementation. Uh, thank you very much for your time and, and attention. Uh, that was a brief presentation from my end. And uh, now I would like to invite uh, my colleagues uh, from USP who have been engaged in implementing RSD at postgraduate level. Um, I would like to introduce Dr. Keith Morrison and uh, his student uh, Mele, who have uh, prepared very hard for this presentation. And uh, so Dr. Keith Morrison is a human ecologist and Eastern Orthodox Christian theologian is a lecturer in sustainability at the Pacific Center for Environment and Sustainable Development at USP in Suva. And Sotiana Mele is a Master of Science student in climate change at the same faculty. She has interests in traditional knowledge and bridging its gap with promoting sustainable livelihood in communities and how traditional knowledge can lead to adaptation to climate change. I now invite uh, Dr. Keith Morrison and Mele to do the rest of the presentation. Thank you.